Grizzly. So, Grizzly was started around the same time that I started chilling. And the idea was to paint these two large paintings, one of a polar bear, one of a grizzly bear. Each painting would have almost two meanings. So you can have cool, chilling, man. Or you can have chilling with a bit dark and ooh, you know. Just as we've got a grizzly bear here, I wanted to put him in a scene that was a bit grizzly, that was got a rubbish and stuff discarded and thrown around and nasty stuff going on, dark alley. But, you know, at the same time, it, it, they're always a bit, there's a bit of a jokiness to them, you know, the, the whole lot of fun. Now, chilling got finished and Grizzly took me, it took, there was a lot of work in chilling, but I worked on it solid. Whereas Grizzly, I started it and left it and painted other pictures, went back to it and so on and so on. And it took a, several years to complete in total. But with Grizzly, the idea was to have him coming out of this alley and to have graffiti strewn on the walls of the alley which related to other bears. And, you know, a painting like this takes me a long while to do. So I've got plenty of time to think of ideas and come up with new ideas and play around with how I'm going to, you know, position stuff in, in the painting. So. It was always going to be the bear walking down the alley, and I always had in mind the drain and the double yellow lines. I had that in mind. I had in mind a wall, maybe with a window, not necessarily with a window, possibly a doorway. The drain pipe worked well in the end. And then I wanted sort of detritus and rubbish, so the way this, I mean, I'm very fond of the way this worked out with the, the composition, the way that rubbish in the foreground goes round that sort of curve there you've got like one plane two planes three planes but there's so much i wanted to get into the painting and it was all the bears and first of all there's the main graffiti backdrop and originally that said grizzly it was gri whatever but it wasn't looking right and we'd already got the title grizzly so that got changed to fuzzy and it's fuzzy's crew and it it worked out really well that. So that was the main, those big letters. And then I sort of put stuff on top of those. And with a painting like this, I work from the, the background and come forward. So this all gets completed first. And even the, the window and the, the, and the rat, and then the bear, the, the, the ground down to the bear's feet sort of gets done. Then the bear gets done. And then this stuff, which is already drawn out and sketched out and planned, that gets painted on top. But while I'm doing this, I'm coming up with ideas all the while and other things enter my head. I'm thinking, oh, where can you put that? Where can you put that? The rat was an afterthought. And, you know, <laughs> the, the Cuddles real brown ratty tail pale ale was something that developed because the rat was there. I, I used to drink Ruddles County. Other beers are available. But so I played around with that, um, and it worked really well. And the rats looking at the bears, if you say, "Well, I better get out of here." But then there's all these other bears, and it seemed to me very fitting to have this trash can overflowing with picnic sites. Someone's written there, and then poo has been around. So we, we're gradually putting the different bears together. The the Diablo on the wine bottle. I just wanted that upside down. I will say that I did try and get this, and now we've got Paddington's coming to the equation. I did try and get that in the bin at one stage. Now, I don't know whether anybody knows what that is, but that's an old borough of Paddington's sign. There's a few still out there somewhere, but, and they would be a prized possession. But obviously this is what's going on here, I don't know. Is this in the future? But somebody's discarding it with the trash. So next to the the Paddington Borough sign, we've got Blue Paint Company. So we've got more bears coming into the equation. But this Blue Paint happens to be crimson. Then in the, the cardboard boxes that someone's thrown away, not discarded, earth ink, handle with care. I have to do some more cardboard, that's worked out really nice. You know, I like that corrugated cardboard effect. But then we've got Boo Boo's Boo-boo. Boo-boo's out of the woods, honey. Or could it be 
boo-boos out of the woods, honey. So there you go. Um, just turn on the, the crunchy. That's made a crunch. Then there's somebody, this has been delivered. Oh, is it to the, to the Browns? Notting Hill. Anyway, somebody's crossed it out and said try Windsor Gardens and all that sort of stuff. You'll have to research that if you don't already know what I'm talking about. I didn't know what I was talking about and, and now I've forgotten. So then you've got, um, well, Eddie's doing porridge. Well, of course, Eddie's a good name for a teddy, isn't it? But this Eddie's doing porridge. Well, porridge was like, I suppose, what Goldilocks found when she went to the uh, Three Bears house and all that sort of business. And then if you go down to the woods today, you're going to be sure of a big surprise. Eddie's doing porridge. Well, somebody knows Eddie. Big surprise. Fozzie crew, that's, yeah, they've been there. And you've got you know, the bear market, because you have a bear market, don't you? I don't know what that means, but then you've got the ladies market.